Our first stop at 16 Acorns Garden Center in Springfield. They're growing on about 10 acres and their focus is really on the gardener and the homeowner who wants to have an incredibly landscaped property. And we'll get to talk with Judy Bordenick today who is the generation right now that is running the farm. She along with her two siblings. My grandparents moved down from Canada and they bought this property here. It was originally about 16 acres and they started farming the property, producing vegetables and um, they actually started a gladiola farm and they sold glads on the side of the road. The business grew to the point where dad couldn't do it by himself and um, you know from early years we all worked in the business. Now it's about nine acres and um, well we have several greenhouses on the property that we fill every year and we grow flowers. We can't grow enough to supply our customers. We have to buy in plants as well. We look forward to this time of year because we're really busy and we're um, helping our customers. The customers that come in here, they're feeding their happy hobby. So most of them are very happy. So we're very thankful that they're here and we want to help them. We work all year for this time of the year because this is our busiest time and this is when we sell the most plants and that's why we're here in business. You know, plants keep us in business. Our second stop today is Dickinson Farm in Granby. And Dickinson Farm is a different sort of farm in that they have much more acreage. They have over 300 acres divided over three farms. And between the three brothers, they are doing tremendous amount of work bringing crops and plants and vegetables and fruit to us, the public. Right now they're selling flowers and they're selling vegetable starts. And they're also getting ready for corn and beans and tomatoes in the field. They also have a large pick your own part of the business where the public can come and pick strawberries and blueberries and apples and peaches. It started in 1951 with my dad Leonard Laflamme and my mother Georgette Laflamme. Uh, and uh, they raised three boys and I'm the, one of the oldest. And the three of us are still with them on the farm. We always had greenhouses and vegetables. We did, that's what we've been doing all our lives. I'll start here and I'll work my way up. Well, I'm the one that runs the greenhouse. Here, I run it from Easter right until fall with the bedding plants, with the uh, perennials, and then of course we do the fall, I do the fall mums. It's starting at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, getting here to water the place. And after I get the watering all done, it's uh, lining up all the, the, the different plants on the benches, getting set up for the, for the morning. From that point on, it's uh, taking care of the customer, answering their questions, and um, hoping they're happy when they go home with the plants. I think over the years, the challenges have changed dramatically. I think years ago, back in the 60s, it was a, a lot simpler, a lot easier. It's not like it was years ago when, when we first started. Back in the 50s, oil was 14 cents a gallon. Now we're running three 60, 365 a gallon. Those are the changes that we see big in this industry. And I think a lot of the wholesale people are struggling with labor, trying to find good labor to do all this work. And I'm, I'm to be honest with you, if it wasn't for a family run operation, we'd probably be in the same boat ourselves. It is a uh, a labor of love and we do love what we're doing and as far as being excited goes it's a it's a high it's a high on trying to move this stuff you only have three four weeks to get it out so you have to work very hard to get that crop to look good even though you're getting rainy cold weather you still got to get it to look good so when the people come here, they have a, they're, they're satisfied with what they're picking up. 